Good morning. Welcome to Delta Daybreak on WXVT. Okay, I am suspecting that it's going to be a great day today. Here's why. Because Joe is at work early. <laughs> How about that? Look at that. That's crazy. We are, we are so lucky here on Delta Daybreak that we actually get to have our camera guy come here okay. early. <laughs> we, get, we get grace with his presence. So one day Jan is not here. <laughs> one day Jan is not here. <laughs> and Joe's here. See, Jana can't even be proud of you today, Joe. I mean, anyway. she's bringing in vegetables next time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, we hope you guys are having a great Tuesday morning out there. Uh, we have a special surprise here for you today. Special surprise. Besides have, Joe. Besides, be besides Joe. the fact that Joe is here early, uh, we have uh, not Jana's here today. Jana actually took off this week, but we have Mr. Ernesto here today uh, with uh, special Phil Philippine cuisine. Yes, from the Philippines. Um, actually, I'm going to be cooking today chicken adobo with hard-boiled eggs. Nice. And it's a very popular cuisine in the Philippines that oh. everybody loves it. Perfect. And you will love it. Well, and also... <laughs> and you will love it, Zach. <laughs> yeah. Despite with the good weather outside. All right. <laughs> and al also, uh, some, uh, some locals have already tasted some of that cuisine, right? Yes, here in the Delta. A few people have tasted it, and everybody just loved it. They Perfect. thought it's from the restaurant, but I don't have a restaurant. No. I'm, a therapist. <laughs> okay. I'm a physical therapist. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're going to have a whole lot more with Mr. Ernesto in just a couple of minutes. I am excited. I know, it I am too. Good. It smells very good. I, I am too. So, um... You know, I hear a nice break from the rain. You're watching Delta Daybreak on WXVT. And welcome back to Delta Daybreak, everybody. Right now it's 6.15, and uh, we're doing things a little bit different today. We are uh, headed to the Philippines. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Ernesto is here in the kitchen. Thanks so much for joining us. So we're having adobo with yeah. hard-boiled eggs, is that right? Yeah, this is what we call chicken adobo with hard-boiled yeah. eggs. And um, it could be pork adobo or any kind, many now kinds of adobo. what does adobo mean though? What um, does that mean? Adobo means marinate. And okay. You now there's just like um, overnight marinating and there's just quick marinate. Gotcha. And this is what we call quick marinate. Okay. Because, you know, I did not uh, marinate it as of last night. So, um, and usually it's supposed to be prepared quick marinate and because, you know, we want it fast. Okay. Awesome. So far, I got, got everything set up. Did you get that, Zach? But adobo, yes. you're going to have a quiz on that. It's all up here. <laughs> and actually, earlier, you know, I heated already the pan. And okay. over here, it's a pot. It has a few cups of water and it got some um, hot, um, eggs inside, but they're not hard boiled yet. It's just a little bit preheated for a few minutes. Okay. But later on, we're going to continue heating it. I just okay. don't want to finish it so that people will see how it right. goes. This yeah. is how you boil eggs, Zach. I know you didn't know that. Yeah. So we're just trying to let you yeah. know that. I never made hard boiled And I'm, I'm a very big fan of um, brown eggs and brown rice. Later on, you'll see that. So okay. This meal should be eaten with um, with rice. Okay. And so far, this is already preheated already, so we're ready to go. Okay. So All right. let me just put it like that. And first, we're gonna first put this olive oil. I'm a very big, big fan of um, olive oil instead of the um, cooking oil because mm -hmm. I think it's really healthy to consume this. Okay. So, yeah, just tasting it. So, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of, of olive oil. Olive okay. oil. Cool. I forgot to use the tablespoon earlier, so okay. I, that I, I remember. It happens, it happens. It's easier to cook in the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's about two tablespoons now of olive oil. It won't take long for it to get heated, probably about a minute. Okay. And, and I us usually want everything to be properly um, organized so that we won't get confused with this um, procedure okay. whatsoever. So, and as you can see, everything has had been set up already. Soy sauce over there, one cup of soy sauce over there. While we're heating this, we'll, I'm just going to tell the ingredients. Here's like a one half cup of water, which okay. is just optional. Later on, there's one fourth um, cup of vinegar. You okay. Know? Right now, I now, think... Now, is this for the sauce? Um, well, this is like for the... Um, for the sauce but the chicken will be there too oh, and right now right. you'll see this stove i chose the one that has a big circle right here so mm -hmm. that because i'm using a big pan so you have to be very alert about the size of the pan and the size of the stove you're using okay but i'm using the large one okay it seems like it's already pretty hot we're ready now to get started with the five cloves of chopped garlic okay this is it we'll give us a take it just for a little bit that's five cloves there yeah, they're just small ones. Oh, okay. I chose the small garlic, you gotcha. know. Gotcha. I usually buy either from Kroger or Walmart. Are, are you a big garlic uh, person? 
Pardon me? Do, do you like a lot of garlic? I like lo lots of garlic. Okay. I believe I like that it. it's really you... healthy for us. If I'm not wrong, it could be an anti antioxidant. Oh, it Which would... helps keep you looking younger, longer. Yes, it would hmm. eliminate free radicals in our body. I'm a physical therapist, so I have a medical background. So I'm very pretty sure that eating the healthy food would really give us great quality of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Makes sense. So yeah, I'm just checking that this is really the brand that over here. Yes, it is. Right. Rare. This is right here. Yeah. I'm the expert on this stove here, so I can let you know. Let's see. Right, rear. That's this one. That's that one there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. I think. <laughs> well done, Jennifer. Well done. Oh, I think. Come on, Zach. You get over. You jump in over here. <laughs> Ever since I made my eggs on there, I'm staying away from that stove. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now. Yeah, there we go. That's right. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Kind of working. Yeah, right. Front. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, and so we're, we're heating up. Sure. Okay, now it's already like being sauteed a little bit, this um, five cloves of garlic. Okay. And now this time, we're quite ready to add this uh, onions. The onions, okay. Now, sure how much onion is that? Oh, uh, this is just um, one um, medium sized onion. Okay. And um, I cut it julienne style or in long strips. So you can okay. see it's kind of got in long strips. That's what it means to cut something julienne. Not, okay, good. Yeah. I, I was wondering. Yeah, about that. in long strips. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. truly, I didn't know. Yeah, I know. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, okay. Turn the, this is on though. Yeah. Okay. And now I want to make sure that this is also on. Yeah, that's yep, that one's on. It's, it's on red. because it's red. Now let's add now these onions. Yeah, and we'll just you know, saute it also for just a little bit until it changes its color. We, we want this um, onion to change its color and to start to give us great aroma. Okay. Because this would really give a great flavor to our dish. It Don't you agree, good, Jeff? Actually. Don't yeah. you like all those onions? Come on. And you, know, and you know, guys, um, I have some tips regarding onions. With onions, we want, if you want your dish to be a little bit sweeter or something, you might want to choose the, chi the kind of onions that is kind of fatter but shorter, like this. And I believe it's sweeter. Oh, really? But if it's taller, it has less you okay. know, sweetness okay. with it. Okay. Yeah. That's know. And I research it too, so you know. And I chose the one that is not that uh, tall, so this should give us a little bit of sweet um, you know, okay. element. Okay. So it looks like it's now starting to change its appearance, and I'm very happy for it. Okay. It looks like, and sometimes if you find some stuff, so you can still find it with your um, stir. I usually use the one that has sweets on it. Okay. This time, okay. I think we're quite ready to add the chicken. Don't you know that we could also saute this chicken? So we, we add the chicken, and then we're going to end up adding the soy sauce and everything in there. Right. Okay, right. gotcha. But there's some more though. So I thought this chicken, I bought this from Walmart. These are four pounds of uh, chicken with bones. And okay. I kind of left the skin on so that um, people will see how those skins of this chicken get cooked. Although you have the option to remove the skin also making it uh, skinless in your house. Maybe you can hear that it's now starting to to play a little bit or cook. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cool. Yeah. All that's, right. That's great. Uh, definitely like that. Yeah, let me just clear the space. Yeah. Here's what I'm learning from Jane when she cooks here every Tuesday because I usually watch this show. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. And over the internet, if I wake up too late. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, there's a nice plug for our, yes. our uh, Don't Today Break online. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Don't Today Break. <laughs> and speaking of that, we're going to also be able to upload uh, your recipe on there as well. I believe that too, because each Tuesday and then after a, a day or so, I see this episode being uploaded. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess mine will be uploaded too, because yeah. I, I'm, I'm a very big fan of this show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. You'll be on there. And All right. Watch it. <laughs> and so guys, if you just get a little bit confused about the steps, just log on to wxvt.com so that you can catch up. Cool. Sounds good. Now, on that note, we're actually going to head on over the break and we're going to come back. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody, in just a couple of minutes. We're continuing our uh, Filipino cuisine today. We're going to have first, of course, Stephen with a quick look at what's coming up for you in sports. Stephen. And a good morning to you, Mississippi Delta. Coming up in your morning sports report. You're watching Delta Daybreak on WXVT. 
and welcome back to Delta Day Break, everybody. Right now it's about 626, and uh, hope you're, hopefully your day is getting off to a great start out there. Absolutely. Maybe you're uh, cooking some chicken. Some chicken adobo today. Mm -hmm. And what is adobo, Zach? Here's trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Marinated. <laughs> Marinated? <laughs> you are so lame. <laughs> Marinade. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and pop our trivia question today. We're going to take the fifth call. Say we're giving away some Lori Morgan tickets, two tickets for a concert coming up this weekend at Harlow's Casino Resort. I've been told that this is hard. On this day in 1958, what single was released as the first eight track master recording press to a plastic 45 RPM disc? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what half oh, those words mean. I know. I'm sitting here going. What? What single? Okay. Uh, what single was released as the first eight track master recording pressed to a plastic 45 RPM disc? That's really, really interesting. You're watching Delta Daybreak on WXVT. <laughs> Welcome back to Delta Daybreak, everybody. Right now it's 636. We hope your day is getting off to a great start this Tuesday morning. And we have a question for you. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Yeah, don't ask them that question. <laughs> anyway, today we have a uh, nice surprise here for you. Jana's not with us today. She'll be back next Tuesday. But uh, today we have uh, Mr. Ernesto here with uh, some good Filipino cuisine, right? Yes, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So far, uh, what we missed a little bit earlier was um, after I sauteed the chicken, I added uh, two, um, one tablespoon of ground black pepper. It's okay. kind of like this pure ground black pepper. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And um, the way I sprinkled it is that I put here first in a small plate like this, mm -hmm. and I kind of like I'll sprinkle it a little bit like that, half of it, and then saute it a little bit further so that you'll get the opposite side, uh -huh. and, so, and put the rest. So that will make sure that there's even distribution of, you know, black pepper. Great. Right. Now, it definitely, I can tell you this, smells great. Oh, thank so you so much. So you're doing a good job. You yes. have our And actually, um, after you put this um sprinkle this um ground black pepper you need to add about one cup of soy sauce so that's what i did during the break okay you know, so i poured it like this you don't need to really feel it across here in the top maybe just a little bit or okay. almost one cup okay. is okay so that's where the soy sauce comes into play we're going to have a whole lot more with you ernesto in and, just a couple of minutes yeah. and this is chicken adobo right. so uh really really yeah. good we'll have more much more with you in just a second <clears throat> ernesto yeah. so what's going on with our weather it's is nice. it going to rain no. Shine. Shine. Great. Well, cool we outside. like that. We're looking out over the Washington County Convention Center for uh, Raceway and Reed Road here in Greenville. It's a little chilly out there. 48 degrees. We're almost at the end of May. We're about a month away from the start of summer. Jennifer, why is it so cold? Is it because you're just cold-hearted? <gasps> oh, why is it? Oh, no, no, it's no. because I'm so warm-hearted. I'm taking in all the warmth, and so there's only coldness left. That's very conceited of you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're watching Delta Daybreak on WXVT. And welcome back to Delta Daybreak, everybody. Right now it's 6.51. We hope your day is getting off to a great start out there. In here, it is uh, smelling really good. Smelling and looking say. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a little bit a while ago, um, I added um, one fourth cup of water. So basically, after you put all those soy sauce and um, ground black pepper, just like what I told you earlier, you have to simmer it for about 15 minutes. And after that, when you open it after 15 minutes, you have to um, add a little bit of this cracked black pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, cracked black pepper. Okay. But it's just an option. You may use bay leaves. You may not. This time, I just showed it to you, but I did not use it, though, because I'm running out of it. <laughs> but now, it, what does, what, bay, how do bay leaves taste? It has something like, kind of ginger-like kind of effect okay. or something, so it would add some more aroma, but gotcha. it's just an option. Okay. So, basically, I showed it to you without the bay leaves, but this is just an option for you okay. to add some bay leaves. For some people, who are, it looks like this. Okay. And so, it got simmered for the first 15 minutes, and then I added some craft black pepper over here so that we'll have best of both worlds Sounds so, and after that another 15 minutes of simmering and then after that you have to like i added about one for one half cup of water simmer it again for another 10 minutes so that it's gonna get cooked really good but remember you have to check it occasionally so that the chicken won't get burned Gotcha. You know, we don't want to have a very dark appearance on the chicken. Okay. So every now and then, I keep on stirring it like this. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, there's really, really lots of smoke <laughs> going on over here. 
and it looks like and speaking of simmering wow, look how good that looks speaking That's of amazing. simmering i started with an with a with like a high and then i just reduced the number for about from six to five this is what how it looks like and actually over here i got already some hard boiled eggs over there but i have here on my right side already a, those um eggs over here are already peeled so they're ready to go so, right, so i have a question for you now uh what what's the purpose of the hard boiled eggs hard boiled eggs the purpose of it is that just in case you're kind of like you feel like it's a little bit strong or mm -hmm. spicy a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. the egg would neutralize it okay yes. I got you. so when you feel like oh this is kind of a little bit um, always spicy now or mm -hmm. whatsoever let mm -hmm. me neutralize it a little bit and it you will just get all the taste whatever from both worlds or okay. something and right now this got simmered already for about 10 minutes after i put the water i'm gonna put the vinegar on now i'll put the vinegar just like this i have to pour it evenly across everywhere on the pan now are you putting it on the chicken or on the sauce um both on chicken and it the sauce okay. doesn't right. matter but probably the sauce so that the sauce is really the one that will give us really good taste but remember guys when you put the vinegar don't stir you don't have don't to stir, stir it. Okay. for next 10 minutes that it needs to get simmered don't stir the vinegar will cook really properly if you won't stir Hmm. And it would also create better taste because the vinegar is really sensitive when you stir it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so it's 10 minutes like that. And I have here another thing that I cooked earlier also. So this is just for us to you all to show. Okay. So that's the, that's the after product. Yes. Okay. We're going to taste product. it, Ernesto, in just a couple of minutes. Sure. We're going to get to taste yeah. it. But first I'm of course, let's take a quick look at what's uh, going on in our forecast. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited too. I don't even care about the weather right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little chilly yeah. looking out with our sky cam. It's 48 degrees currently now. It's Let's go to trivia one more time. On this day in 1958, what single was released as the first eight-track master recording presented to a plastic, uh, or press, excuse me, press to a plastic 45 RPM disc? Jennifer? Who was it? That, okay, I'll take it today. Okay. That was Bobby Darren's single Splish Splash. That I did not guess that. I was going to guess like Elvis Splish, or Little Richard Splash, or something. I was taking a bath. Yep. Our is winner. That is that right? Uh, could, I don't know. Is, is that the right one? Yeah, okay. All right. And the winner is uh, Ted Golston in Indianola. Congratulations, Ted. You are a genius. <laughs> I'm telling you exactly. <laughs> I wonder how many calls we actually had on that question. That says number five here, so All we right. had at least five. Okay, well, Ted, you win those tickets <clears throat> uh, this weekend at Harlow's Casino Resort to see Lori. Lori. <laughs> Lori, Lori. Uh, Lori Morgan. Lori Morgan. Jennifer, Jennifer. We Jennifer. know Did who you it is. Did you take your memory pills this morning? No, I never take my memory pills. You're just too distracted by the. Great I didn't food, remember to sure. take my memory pills. It sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and take a quick uh, taste of this and see what's sure. like. Ooh. Yeah. I serve it properly like this. It's got bay leaves, so got rice. All right. Microwave already, so it's good to go. Okay. Let's got go some ahead. Very, I have here some spoon and forks. And Asian Asian people usually. Cook we are going to just do a quick little taste yep. of this. Dive in, Jennifer. Yeah. Try it. All right. Silent. I'll just throw it in my mouth. And I want to greet my parents in the Philippines, mm. Consuelo really Paras and Ernesto Paras Sr. Hi, and my grandmother, Maximina Patawara in the Philippines. Hi. Very good. Yeah. Thank you all so much yeah. for joining us today. We enjoy spending our morning with you. We'll see you tonight, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Have a good day. Breaking news this morning.